you doing today? So today I just wanted to have a little chat with everybody. I experienced something recently that I found really, really frustrating. And I wanted to talk about it a little bit. So I recently decided that I need a new computer. My computer is about five years old. It's acting up. It's chugging along. And, you know, as a five-year-old computer does these days in a disposable society, it's struggling. So I was at this point where I was like, okay, I, I, I know I need to upgrade it. I am familiar with technology. I sold technology for five years. I worked in an electronics store for five years five or six years, somewhere in that ballpark. Um, you know, I was a manager in that store too. So like, I, I understand tech and the principles of tech and how tech works. So when I go into a, to a situation where I need to get a new computer, I understand what a hard drive is. I understand what, what RAM is. I understand what the graphics card is and what, what that does. I understand what the processor does. So I went to, you know, I, I went to a store to go and sort of get an update on what the new technology is, right? Like I understand, okay, the, these are the specs, but what's the best brand right now? What's selling well? What computers are doing really well for people doing content creation and, you know, video editing? Because that's really the primary use that I'm, I need it for right now. What brands are great for that? So that was the kind of feedback and guidance that I went in looking for. I went in knowing the specs that I needed, but I needed a little bit of brand guidance and if there were any extra features that I should be aware of. So I go into the store and explain what it is I'm looking for, what I'm using the computer for, what my needs are. And you know, one of the things I mentioned was I need at least an Intel i7 processor or what the AMD equivalent is, but I'm not sure what that's called. And the response was this, well, AMD is another brand that makes processors. Does, does anybody, is anybody else already feeling the frustration? So I'm like, okay, and I like maybe he misunderstood or there was some miscommunication. So I'm like, okay. I, I understand that it's a different brand, but what I'm asking is what specific processor is the equivalent made by AMD that is the competition for the Intel i7? Oh, it's just another brand is the answer I get. Okay. Okay. Let's, let's give this one more chance. I'm like, okay, show me some computers that, that will meet my needs for what I'm looking for and what I want to do. So, you know, the guy, really friendly salesperson, you know, brings me over to the first laptop and he's like showing me and he's like, this is pretty popular and look at this cool feature. This folds over and it's a two in one and it becomes a tablet. So I, that's kind of cool, but that doesn't meet my needs. I'm using this for video editing, and I really don't need a tablet or touchscreen features. That's not what I'm interested in. And in fact, that actually would make it a little more challenging for me. Okay, let me show you this other model. Walks me over to another laptop that's on display, and the first feature that he points out to me, this one's also a touchscreen. It's pretty cool, huh? I'm done. I'm done. I, I was just like, okay, thank you. I appreciate your time. Let me look around. Because at this point, not only did I feel like it was being condescending, like, you know, just like, yes, good, good, good girl. Just here. Yeah. I, I felt so unheard and like my time was not worth anything the person I was ta talking to, was how that was making me feel. Because I was being very clear. I was being very, very clear. I was like, these are the specs I need. This is what I want. This feature doesn't apply to me. I don't want that feature. 
And the first thing that happens is he shows me another computer and highlights that feature I just said less than five seconds ago I did it for. This is what it's like when I have to go into a tech store. This is, I, I don't like to bring isms into it, but I really do feel this is an ism. I feel this is sexism in electronics and technology. Um, in my time selling technology, there were instances where there were blatant isms in my face. Um, I will never forget the day, never will I forget this, that a customer walked in and said that they wanted some assistance and they had gone to one of my coworkers who was in another department. And my coworker directed them back to me because I was the specialist in the department they were looking for. And that customer said, oh no, no, I need a sales man. That blatant, that blatant and that happened. And I was within earshot because I was already there like going up to greet the person. This, this is the world that we live in. So now when I'm shopping for technology, I feel like I'm on the reverse of it where the salesperson I'm talking to doesn't expect a woman to walk into the store and have the knowledge and understanding of technology and electronics. And I think that's just a broad generalization or assumption or stereotype or you know what have you that that's made and if they just took two seconds and listened it, it would just feel so much more validating like I was I walked into that store ready to buy a laptop I walked out of that store empty-handed because I was treated the way I was treated instead what I did I went onto my social media I asked my friends, hey guys and gals out there, this is what I'm looking for. I know I got tech savvy people out there. What should I be looking at? My friends, I love you. You are the best. With their guidance, I was able to find myself a laptop, find it online, and I ordered it online. And that's, that's how that happened. It's important to listen to people and it's important to validate people. You know, it's one of those things like when, when we don't acknowledge what somebody is saying to us, the impact that has on the person it is often so much more than we realize. Take the time and listen to each other. Take the time to process what's being said makes a difference. It makes a huge difference. So that is my rant for the night. I, I'm sorry if this was a little bit out of character for me, but this happened over a week ago and it's still bugging me. So I just, it's what's on my mind right now. So I put it out there. So if you've experienced something similar, let me know in the comments. I, I'm curious to hear what other people's stories are, what their experiences are. And, you know, is, is it just me? Is it, is it, you know, is it a Mercury thing? Or is, is this more, more common than I suspect? So let me know and validate each other. Listen to each other. And until tomorrow, stay inspired by everybody. Take care.